So hospitals in the United States are screwing you and scamming you and price gouging you in the same way that the health insurers are doing that. Um, that's why you always hear me say on this show that our healthcare system is a scam on top of a scam within a scam. Everything's for profit. The incentives are all messed up. And as a result, um, you get screwed and get terrible care that costs more than in the rest of the developed world. So new evidence to this effect that we got this week. I believe it was the New York Times who originally reported on this. Um, at the University of Mississippi Medical Center, a colonoscopy costs $1,463 with a Cigna plan, $2,144 with an Aetna plan, $782 with no insurance at all. At the hospital of the University of Pennsylvania, a pregnancy test costs $18 for a Blue Cross patients in, for Blue Cross patients in Pennsylvania, 58 for Blue Cross HMO patients in New Jersey, 93 for Blue Cross PPO patients in New Jersey, and $10 with no insurance at all. Yet again, no insurance is the cheapest. It's the cheapest option. At Aurora St. Luke's in Milwaukee, an MRI costs United enrollees $1,093 if they have United's HMO plan, $4,029 if they have United's PPO plan. What? What? So, um, what's happening is Donald Trump passed this, uh, or was he either signed an executive order or passed a law, I don't remember the specifics of it, but it's basically a pay transparency law. And the idea is the hospitals and the insurers need to release what you're paying for various things. And um, they fought this. They didn't want to release it. Now we know why they didn't want to release it. Because everything is completely and utterly arbitrary and made up, and there's no consistency, and sometimes the uninsured actually pay less than the insured. And it's, it's a total and utter colossal mess, which is why they wanted to hide it. They wanted to hide it. So Trump actually put that into place. Credit to him for that. Um, and then Biden agreed with Trump and said, we're keeping this in place. And I think they sued, but then they lost, or there was some whole backstory that got us to this point. But now you know why they were trying to hide this. They didn't want you to see the prices, because then you'd know, holy crap, the entire system is complete and utter bullshit. And it's fraudulent. Now, um, this reminds me of something we covered on the show about a year ago. So get this. The 100 most expensive hospitals in the United States charge between $1,129 and $1,808 for every $100 of their costs. So they own, they, they have a cost of $100 for something, and they charge up to $1,808 for that thing. That is price gouging, without a doubt. Uh, this and that was this is, was found in a study from National Nurses United. Overall, hospitals across the U.S. charge an average of $417 for every $100 of their costs. So that's the regular schmegular hospital. The most expensive ones, for every $100 in cost, they charge... 1,808. The regular schmegular hospitals, for every $100 in cost, they charge 417. The average markup at hospitals has more than doubled over the past two decades. The markups have resulted in hospital profits skyrocketing by 411% from 1999 to 2017, hitting a record $88 billion in profit. Profit. This is in an industry, mind you, that shouldn't even have profit. Health care and health insurance shouldn't have any profit motive like the rest of the developed world. $88 billion in profit for the hospitals. $88 billion. That's a crime. So the Rand Corporation did a study and found that hospitals charge private insurers an average of 2.4 times more than Medicare rates. And um, a study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine earlier this year found that 34% of healthcare expenditures go towards administrative costs alone. 34% of the healthcare money isn't even going to healthcare. This is a joke. The whole system is a joke. It's a scam on top of a scam within a scam. The health insurers, what are they incentivized to do? Not cover your shit. Because they make more money the more they deny care. That's how they make their money. The more they deny care to you, then they could pad the bottom line for their shareholders and increase their profit. So that's a terrible, perverse incentive. And now you know the health care providers, the hospitals, they're price gouging everybody a thousand ways to Sunday. 
And now we get the pay transparency and we realize how everything's arbitrary. It's not like you got a better deal with the health insurance or whatever. Sometimes the uninsured have the lower cost. It's all arbitrary and made up and grotesque. I don't know how else to, to get this through to people. There is no question. There is no debate. It's not debatable. Medicare for all, single payer, is objectively better. Objectively. Every study says that. Every single time. It would save $5 trillion over the course of a decade. $5 trillion! Because you're cutting out the unnecessary, rapacious, for-profit middleman, the health insurance companies, and you're stopping the price gouging for the providers, from the providers. Guys, this isn't rocket science. I'm not a genius. I'm a dumbass. Even I see this. Uh, and by the way, I love, like, again, credit to Trump and credit to Biden for doing the pay transparency thing. But just understand, look at how low the bar is. The best thing we get is that our elected representatives will try to make it so you know how screwed over you are. It's not like, we know you're screwed over and we're going to change it. No. It's we, we're going to show you how screwed over you are, but all you're going to get is the transparency. We're not going to actually fix it. <laughs> oh my God, it's a sick joke. It's a sick joke. Our entire system is a mess. Our entire system is fraudulent. The institutions are total shit. And it's never been more clear. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.